what you mean? Ay, I like honey, nothing in between. Bad little baby, they got mad overseas. Ay, she wanna go out shopping every week. Finna go, she proud of now, she rockin' double C's. Ay, the way the back came in is like a dream. Love, I'm still that fool. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with me, QB. And before this video starts, I'm gonna give a shout out to the video sponsor, of course, Honor Dispatching. I got you guys with a good one. They are doing a special on fundamental dispatching training. So if you guys want to learn how to dispatch with yourself, go ahead and check them out. Or if you just need a dispatcher in general while you're on the road and you don't want to worry about booking loads and have loads ready for you already, contact them. All the information is in the description. Yeah, as I can see by the title, man, it's not clickbait. It's not clickbait at all. I'm not, I'm not trying to get views on this or nothing. I actually need help by, um, with what I'm about to talk about in this video. Because as I can see, these are probably my last days in a box truck. Like I was saying, this is probably my last days in a box truck. I'm not going to lie. And you probably be thinking, like, oh, he's about to sell his box truck. He's getting out the business. No and no. I'm not selling my box truck. I'm just shutting it down. Um, am I coming back to it? I don't know. I really don't know yet. Um, basically, as you guys know, I have my CDL and I do have a semi truck. So that's the route I always was going to take eventually. Like I already knew I was going to get in my semi truck one day. So that's what I'm basically pursuing. So that, that's just what I'm going for right now is getting a semi truck. But before I get in a semi truck, like I could jump right in there and go for it. But like I said, I'm new. I just got my CDL. I don't know everything about the truck. And I still have a lot to learn. So with that being said, it was really just, you know, stay in a box truck for a little bit, well, a little while longer, save up some money to get in the truck. Or it was just really just get in the truck and just learn that way. Or, you know, try to go the company route for a little bit so I could, you know, make mistakes in a company truck rather than in my own truck. So really, it just been a, a lot of just thinking recently. And then if you guys was in the, um, Mark the Mentor live, and I was me, Mark the Mentor, and Kirk. We was talking, and you know, Kirk gave me some good advice of just you know, go join a company and you know, go like he said, go tear off some bumpers in, in a company truck rather than your own while you're learning. So that's something I really was going to pursue. And yes, I know, like, the money, like, this is the real downfall because I have no problem going work for a company. Sometimes, you know, you got to sit back and take, you know, take, you know, a route you don't want to take, even. If it's not a lot of money, which it's not going to be, but it betters you in the long run. So right now, I know I'm not going to be making as much, as much money as I was before. Nowhere near the amount of money I'm going to make before, but I'm gaining experience. So that's the only downfall of, you know, if I decide to go work for a company, it's just really the money. And, you know, I've been the owner operator for almost a year now. And like, you know, uh, I've been loving it. And it's hard for me to transition back into, you know, working for somebody because i really i really don't like working for nobody but like i said it's it's about getting experience more so about the, not about the money which i will still put out content but like it's going to change because i'm going to be in a semi truck making money in a semi truck not just a box truck so you know i may have new people coming coming in i don't i don't i really don't know but like that's where my head i've been right now i don't know if i'm gonna continue in a box truck um which is very slim i don't want to um like, I, I know I could get a contract. I know I could work, get a, there's always Amazon and whatnot. But, like, I don't really want to go with the hiring a driver route because, you know, at the end of the day, your company is on the line. And I'm the type of person where, you know, I really don't trust people with my equipment. My goal hasn't really been to, you know, expand this business. So, while I have drivers and whatnot, that's not really the route I was going for. Uh, was probably a shocker, but not really. And if I was to go that route, it probably would literally be my own truck, maybe two trucks with work drivers, and that's it. But other than having multiple trucks, multiple drivers, like I don't want to deal with the headache. And you know, trucks break down. I definitely don't want to hit deal with that headache. So I really wasn't interested in going in a driver route. I'm um, hiring a driver route. Um, like I said, and then on top of that, if I do hire a driver, and let's say he call out. If I'm not in a, I'm not going to be in a position where I can just literally okay my driver call out when we go hop in my truck and and, and go do the load because all gonna be local but like I said I'm not going to be around that much so you know go do the load if a driver call out or something I don't have nobody to go you know grab the truck I mean I do but like I don't want to interrupt what somebody else got going on to help me and you know I just don't want to go down that route so right now 
it's looking like I may just like the boss truck is already parked. Uh, the authority is still active, still insurance on it. Like I was, I'm about to pull a few more loads until you know I decide or whatnot. But like you know, it's just I'm just thinking right now. I don't know. Like I'm always gonna put out content, but like I don't know, bro. That's why I really need y'all help. Like, what do y'all personally think is the best option to do right now? So I just stay in the box truck and just continue to make money and then just you know go the owner operator in the semi truck all out. So I work for a company. You know, so I work for a company and and do that for a little while, so I gain the experience, or you know, so I just hop in this, just just do whatever. I don't know. Let me let me know what y'all would do in my position, cause right now I'm pretty stuck. Got a company that I'm like kind of signed up with. I have orientation in like two weeks, a week from now actually. The 15th of May is when the orientation starts, so I have into then and really make a decision but i have that company and then i have another local company which i'm really trying to do it's a little more work because you know it's you touching the freight you pulling the freight off the truck putting it where it needs to go so it's a little more labor and um labor and then i gotta get my hazmat which i'm going to do eventually regardless but this is going to push me to get it even sooner so that's cool but you know i don't know like like i said the, the second one is local i'll be home Still could take care of my, like, be around my kids, which is great. I really want this one instead of the other one. The other one that I'll go for on the 15th, it's, it's basically OTR, the regional OTR, but I'll be home weekly. My only problem with that is, you guys know, like, I'll be watching videos, and sometimes they make this mass break call you and be like, hey, we can't get you home this weekend. I'm not with that. If I sign up for something weekly, I need to be home weekly. <clears throat> and, you know, that's something i have to do later on. I know it's going to happen, but... This local company, like I already, I'm already doing what the truck is, is, the job description is with my box truck. I'm already lifting thousand, two thousand um, pound um, pallets with my um, pallet jack. I'm already doing that. Like literally, I'm already doing it. So it's easier for me to transition to that. They both pay the same, but this is no. I think I pay. I think, I think the local one that I really want pays a little more. But like I said, I'm already doing that work with the box truck. So it's going to come easy to me. Like it's not nothing foreign. I'm already using lift gate. I'm already backing up to the dock, taking off heavy pallets and whatnot. Like I'm already doing it. So I really want that. But I went to an interview for that one. They gave me a second interview, which is Tuesday. And Tuesday, I go for another interview with the manager, I guess, of the whole operation or the whole company for that location. And if I get that, um, basically they're going to send me on um, basically a regular 12 hour shift, they said, uh, with a driver just to see if I really like with the, um, the job description and if I really want to do it. So that's that. So I really got about eight days <clears throat> to come up with a decision. I'm just letting you guys know because at the end of the day, you guys are my family. You guys, for, especially you guys that come comment every video and contact me on Instagram and whatnot. You guys are my family, so I just want to keep y'all updated about everything that's going on. So I don't want y'all to be like, "Oh, he in a box truck? Where's the box truck? He's in a semi work for a company. Oh, he 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 lost the um the business. He didn't survive. Da da da. It's none of that. Like literally, I could continue my box truck, but I'm thinking about longer. I'm thinking about the future and me getting into my semi truck. So the box truck, like I said, the box truck wasn't even. Like most people, the box truck was really just, you know, them becoming a business owner in the box truck and then probably extend, um, expanding their box truck business and whatnot. Me, that never was the goal. Like I always wanted to get in trucking. I knew I was going to get in trucking, but I didn't have no CDL at the time. And box truck was really the, the easiest way for me to get in and, you know, start doing loads and whatnot. So I took the box truck route, but literally I always wanted to get into the semi. I don't know why. I never got my CDL. I should have been got it. And then, uh, but then again, I would never be posting a box truck content. I would have straight went to a semi and things would be a little different. So that's basically it, man. I don't know. Like like I said, my goal always been to get a semi on the operator. I'm probably, if I, when I start working, I'm probably going to make a series of, you know, make a series called Road to Owner Operator when I'm working as a company driver all the way up to I own an operator, even though I got a truck, but like, you know, I got to put money into the truck because I need to save up money for breakdowns and everything in the semi-truck because that semi-truck maintenance cost 
and repair costs is out of this world. So it ain't about box truck. We talking about semi. We talking about money. So it's a right to build up capital for that. And then again, another point I didn't even bring up is that the market is terrible right now. If you're on that low board, you know what I'm talking about. The market is bad right now. So I don't think personally, with that being said, I don't think it would be a good idea for me to really start my semi truck and, you know, I wouldn't have no overhead because, you know, like I said, I own my equipment and whatnot. Um, I'm thinking about, you know, probably financing a trail later on, but that's not here or there. I don't think it's wise for me to get in a semi truck with minimal experience right now on my own and with the market being bad, if you understand what I'm saying. So I got to take that into consideration, too. So while the market is bad, I literally could go work for a company for a little while, get the experience, you know, backing up into tight spaces, maneuvering the truck. I'm still learning all that. I'm not professional. I'm still learning how to do all those things. So if I go to the company route, I can learn all those things, get the knowledge I need, get the experience I need. Then when the market rises back a little bit, I'll probably be ready to go out there on my own. So that's something to think about. I don't know. Like, you know. And, you know, I'm ready for the trolls in the comments, bro. I'm ready for the trolls. If you think I'm, a, I'm just failed, I failed, then, hey, it is what it is. I really don't care. I'm um, always going to have my box truck. Um, always going to have my box truck for a backup, you know. Always, I'm always going to. That's all I preach. Because I was in the CDF school and talked to one of the dudes. They said always have a backup truck. Just in case your main truck back down, break down, you have another truck to get into. So that's what it is. Always going to have a box truck. Always gonna have the box truck for the most part, right? But as I get deeper into a semi, I'm probably gonna sell my box trucks to get another semi truck. You know, because I, like I said, I do, I do find great deals. Like for instance, if I find a semi truck, I can pay a couple thousand dollars for it, and they need an engine. And you know, I'm not gonna pay nobody to do the engine work. I'm gonna do it myself with my dad. So you know, I could get trucks for a, a low price. And buy an engine or rebuild the engine ourselves and go about the go about things easy so you know that's that's what the route i do so i got a lot of planes coming up just think that i might give away a box truck you know a little while longer i might find a box truck that needs some work put an engine to it and i might give it away i don't know that's later on that's way later on down the line though mark mark my words i'm gonna do it but that's way later down the line you know you know, I'll probably do it, you know, get get um get Kirk involved, get Mark the Mitchell uh, involved to get you know, get people interested in, you know, getting a box truck. Yeah. So, you know, that's later on down a lot. I'm gonna talk chop it up with them about that. But you know, I don't know. Like we I don't know where where this video is going. I'm just giving y'all update because things are about to change on the channel. I don't want you guys to be like, yo, what just happened? Why is he not a box truck no more? This is why. So whatever route I take you guys are going to know shortly so yeah let me know what you guys thought please give me your comment i mean your please give me your advice and your opinions in the comments below like comment subscribe and see y'all later